Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome back to another episode of Tungstore Farm. Alright, we got what's going on today. Uh, as you can see, I got the Tatra truck, uh, just filling up with some water here. Uh, we didn't fall in the... fall in this time, although apparently our truck can't handle... Oh, there we go. Second there, I thought our truck... Nope, it looks like it may not be able to handle it. It's just a little bit too heavy, apparently. Oh, is it gonna do it? It's just the angle. That's all it is. And I can't put any of the... Uh, it has four-wheel drive on already, but I can't put the... Uh, I can't put, like, uh, differential locks on this truck. For whatever reason. Well, it does look pretty cool, though, when you try to get it out of the water. Alright, maybe this time? I think it's just the angle I'm trying to get it at. Oh my goodness, really? I think this is what happened last time when we got stuck. Yeah, so look at that. No, nope, it's not happening that time. Ah, uh, I was trying to be so good this time, too. There you go. Monster truck style. Come on. Just a little bit further. Oh my goodness, really? You think this truck would have enough horsepower to, to like, pull it through anything that it might uh, throw at it, but apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, let's try from a different angle, maybe. One of the really nice things about this truck, actually, is the fact that it does have this hitch on the back. I think that's really a really neat little feature uh, that they included standard in this truck. Oh, wrong direction, Ian. Wrong direction. Um, I think it's a really neat, really neat little feature because it allows you to do stuff like, uh, like what I'm trying to do right now is attached to this trailer, uh, which makes it kind of nice. Let's see here. That's unfortunate. Anyways, well, I guess we'll have to reset that. That uh, was not my original intention. I thought the truck would be, you know, perfectly fine doing that. Apparently not. Ah, uh, c'est la vie. Anyways. I think, I think that, uh, what was it, five? Yes. I think that's a good reason to get uh, maybe a windmill or something. Uh, because every time I've done that so far, I have uh, gotten stuck. <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate. Alright, let's see if we can't, uh, oops. Let's see if we can't, uh, hook this up with the rear view mirror. So, I guess the key here is just to keep it just barely in sight. Let's see if we can do this. Ooh. Oh, I think we're off. I don't know how. I must have missed it. Anyway, so we have the water here, and uh, what we're doing is we're going to go give our cows a little bit of water. And... I don't know why I'm heading in that direction. We can go here. As you can see, we got two bins full of water, or full of potatoes already. And we're going to go wait for that to fill up, and then we can take those washed potatoes. And I don't know if we have any storage for that, actually. Hmm. That will be interesting to find out. I don't know why I have that up. I can take that off. Uh, apparently we're going uh, the scenic route. Jeez. I don't want to take the scenic route. That's a long way around. As you can see, we still have a little bit of that straw here. I haven't done much else with it. After last episode, we just gave our cows a little bit of straw. And they were good. And now, I'm just going to give them a little bit of water. Increase their efficiency just a wee bit more. That's the hope, at least. And uh, we'll go from there. Strangely enough, this combination of this truck and this trailer doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, and that's primarily because, of course, that we have them. They're both green. I just chose the default color, uh, default color for both of them. And uh, it's the color they gave us. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, if you ask me. What do you guys... What do you think? And do you think how... Do you think this is ridiculous, having this truck pull this trailer? It's got enough horsepower, that's for sure. Uh, next turn. Just looks a bit silly, perhaps, but it, they offer the possibility by giving us the hitch, so I guess it makes sense to use it. Now, I wonder in real life if people use it the same way or not. I don't know. 
I am really not sure. We don't really have agricultural trucks, I don't think. Not in the same way as, like, uh, Europe does. Like, we just have trucks that get used as agricultural trucks, I think, at least. Anyway, let me know if you have a truck that's an agricultural truck, or if it's just, like, a Peterbilt that's, you know, being used for agricultural purposes. Uh, let's see here. Now, can I get into the pasture that way? No. I believe there's an entrance right in here. And where is it? Well, we'll just do it this way. Because I know you can get in. Oh. It's not that way. Where is it? I totally saw it. And I know now I've lost it. Oh, here it is on this side. That was the beef cattle. This is the dairy cattle. So, let's take this. Watch out, cow. I think there's an easier way to do this. I think you have to actually go, like, outside of this little area and then give it to them. Uh, I believe the water is way back here in the corner. Uh, we can find out easily enough by bringing up this. Yep, there it is. Uh... Probably easier to back this in if I'm honest. Especially with this. If I had a tractor, I probably would just drive straight through, but with this truck, because it's so long with this trailer on it, I'm just going to back that in. And hopefully not make a fool of myself. It's funny, backing up in this game is so much different, I find, than backing up in Euro Truck. In this game, I'm not terrible at it. In Euro Truck, I'm terrible at it. Well, we each have our, our days where sometimes it's better than others. All right, let's see. And that should be in refill water. There we go, and we should see our cows getting water there. There it is. I don't know how much water they're gonna take. We're gonna find out here in a second. If I seem a little lower energy today, it's because I'm trying to conserve my voice a little bit. Uh, that's the reason why. I uh, got a sore throat the other day, and I, I can still talk, it's okay, but uh, I'm trying to get too excited. Uh, well, actually, it took quite a bit. Uh, and that's the reason why, if you're wondering. Um, I notice it myself, because I'm like, there's some things I want to get, you know, say, a get a little bit more excited and say things for, but I realize that I probably shouldn't. I think the only other exit is... I guess we just go the same way we came. That would be fine. And like so. It's weird though, because I'm not even sure how it happened. Being around sick people, I guess. It happens. Uh, Alright, so now we have an extra little bit of water. And what we can do with this is... Uh, take it to the other farm. Interestingly enough, these actually silos actually do work. Um, you just have to fill them up properly. Uh, I think they take fertilizer and lime, if memory serves. I have not done that yet. I was going to buy this field right in front of us, 22. I uh, don't have the money yet. It's like $260,000. Unfortunately, we have lots of silage, mind you. But just none of it here, which makes it a bit annoying, but... It's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do with this leftover water is so we're going to fill up the rest of the potato washer machine. And, hopefully... Hopefully that will use a, a majority of it up. Otherwise, we have to waste it. No, oh, don't run into that. Uh, which I don't really want to do, but... If needs be, we can do it. It was free anyways, technically, so... I'm not that worried about it. Um, let's give this to the potato washer and see what the levels are like. Now, I still have the Grimmy, as you just noticed. Uh, he's still finishing up the field. Not that much left, to be honest with you. There's only like, I don't know, four or five passes left for the Grimmy. Uh, so I rented it for, I think it was like half a day or something like that. And that appeared to be just the right amount of time. Apparently. Alright, potato washer. It's right ahead of us there. And... The water is on uh, that side right there. Okay. Uh, let's 
see if we can't put this in here. Also, I noticed that the compost is like 50% full. I don't know how, but apparently it is already. There we go. Let's fill it up. Probably doesn't need that much water, if I'm honest, but it uh, needs a little bit. Also, the other thing that was kind of annoying that I realized was the fact that uh, this guy, uh, I, have, I brought him back to the BGA, but he's really not the uh, best person for the BGA. This guy is running. It runs slowly throughout the day. Actually, it only runs uh, technically with the BGA extension. It only runs twice a day. It runs at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So, And apparently that's full for whatever reason. I think it's because I chose a 50% sized... Uh, I don't even call it now. Bunker, I call it. Uh, because you can choose the size you want to start it up at. So, Anyhow. We don't need that. We need this guy. Oh, it took a couple thousand. Alright, now let's see if we can't make this turn in here. Probably not. Well, maybe actually. Nope. Not with the other potatoes there. That's for sure. Alright, so let's do this then. I was going to say, what are we stuck on? Just back this straight out here without running into things, hopefully. In reality, it makes more sense to back out, or back in, I should say, and then just drive straight out, but I like doing things the hard way, apparently. All right, so let's move this guy out of the way again and put him back where he came from, which is just over here. Uh, it goes on the other side here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that's that. Um, I think this guy's still running. Yep. Oh, did I actually put that in here? I think I did. I just forget. Uh, tractors, did I put it in here? The 950, I totally did. Um, how much would I get if I sold that dudes? Lloyd's Fall. Let's see. Not that one. This one. Oh. We're going to sell that Deutz. This one right here. I just don't like it as much as the other class ones. And the sound bothers me a lot more. Uh, this way, yeah. What we're going to do is going to sell this Deutz and then get another class. Um, uh, the class doesn't have the little hand, which also bugs me just a teensy weensy bit. I guess I'm particular, uh, or call me a particular at least. So the class we're going to get, the 950, is actually made by the same people who made the other class, the 850 we have. So it's of equal quality. So right now, if you can hear that sound, I'll turn it up for you guys. Of course now it doesn't want to make the sound. Oops. Totally went the wrong direction. Uh, <laughs> we'll just cross across the field here. Uh, we haven't been across this way yet, so good time to have a look at it. We'll just cross down the edge here. Um, but yeah, this uh, tractor makes a weird like sound every now and then, and it kind of skips through the sound file, which is kind of annoying. If you drive it, oh, there it goes. I don't know why it does it, but I just don't like it. Oh, of course. Of course there would be a river right here. What are the chances of that? <laughs> well, that was a nice scenic route. Got to see all the river. I'll, I'll, once I get to the store, I'll meet you there in a second. Alright, so we made it back, finally. It was a long way around, let me tell you that much. And we're going to go ahead and sell this. I like this tractor. But there's some little things that just bug me. There may be an update to this again, another update, but uh, it is a cool looking tractor, but I like to play inside the tractor and the hand uh, bothers me a little bit. 129,000, nice. Actually, we can just walk straight into the store. Where is the actual store? Is it on the other side? That's a sell point. That's that. I guess we have to walk around. All right. Let's walk around, go into the store. 
There's a Lemkin plow in here. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, let's see. So the one we want to get is this, which is 410. Actually, it's a bit more horsepower, which is nice. And I believe it's by the same modding crew. Doesn't maybe this one's not because that mesh does not look the same. I thought it was by CZ Mods. Uh, I think it's that Czech Mods. I think they called it. I think it's what it is. Uh, but there's also this is the one. No, we had uh, we had this one. This Lamborghini is like made exactly the same way. And there's this Deutz we could get as well, but I don't like that one. It's okay. This one has more horsepower, anyways. Let's go ahead and buy it. That is totally underpriced, by the way, too. 137,000 for 400 horsepower. Whatever. Let's take a look at that. Now, this should be the same quality as the one we just had, or the class we had. However, I am a bit suspicious now. Yeah, it doesn't have the nice grill on it yet. Maybe that's something they're going to do eventually, but it, I believe it's all the same. Uh, you can put duels on this one. You can have the doors, menu change. You can turn on your thing. GPS doesn't really do anything in this game, but uh, doors, sunroof, radio. Open, what the heck is, oh, sunroof. They call it an iris in English? Okay, whatever. Turn off climate control. Turn on the radio. That's pretty cool, actually. Never seen that one. Uh, makes me laugh because it doesn't actually do anything. All right, let's listen to the engine note here. One second, I'll be quiet. It's pretty quiet inside. Well, it wasn't until I started accelerating. Actually, you know what we can do? We can finally bring back this uh, this little guy right over here. <laughs> because this has been sitting here like since the starting of the season, basically. I should probably just sell it. Because we're not going to use it. Well, I can't say we're not going to use it, but we haven't used it yet. Let's say that. Uh... We'll keep it anyways. Actually, that has a reverse camera on it. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. Or it pretends to have a reverse camera because that actually doesn't do anything. Oops. And that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, goodness. Let's put this guy in group one. All right. This is the button I was trying to get. All right. There we go. So this is not... There's not an updated version of this one yet. This is bad by the same people who did the other class, but I guess the grill hasn't been updated. There may be an update now, I just haven't checked back in a while. So, that may be the reason why. But, let's take a listen. Do we have any weird engine notes? No, thank goodness. Jeez. I don't know why, that really, it just really bugs me. I'm not sure why you can get into that, but that area for the horses. Maybe you can sell stuff there. I don't know. But, uh, I'll take this off. You can put duels on this tractor, apparently. Let's see, what was it? Five? Eight and nine. It's kind of cool. And weight. You can put wheel weights on it. This is good for us. Very neat. One of the nicer class ones out there. There are some ones that aren't very nice, unfortunately, so... It's like every mod, every uh, company. Like, there's some nice John Deere's and there's some really bad ones. There's some nice Deutzfahrs and there's some really bad ones. But it does seem that uh, the farming simulator community is finally getting its feet underneath it and making some good solid mods. However, um, however, it's taken a long time to get there. And it's a bit unfortunate, but. That's the way it happens sometimes. You have scenarios where uh, there's a big, like a bit of a a lull, I'll call it, in mods, and then you have like a surge again. It's really weird. All right, so we're gonna put this over by the fertilizer spreader right over here. There we go. And let's back this up here. Just right here is probably the best place for it. Let's get that done properly. 
There we go. That's better. Apparently I'm still cramming it into the side there, but it'll survive. All right. Perfect. I think that's a good place as any to stop the episode. This is the nice Claus 950, and I th there may be an update to it, um, but I have not seen it yet. I have not looked for it either, mind you, so that's probably part of it. Anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for a day. Let me turn this guy off here. That'll be it for me for today. My name's Ian Robson. This has been an episode of Farming Simulator 2015 coming at you from Tongue Store Farm. If you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys later.